Hi everyone, I'm Gio. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, Gio Savaya How To. Please hit subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. This video is part two of deploying a duplex Avaya communication manager. In part two, we're going to install feature pack three, service pack four. Then we're going to restore its configuration from backup. The software required for this upgrade is communication manager feature pack three, service pack four. To restore the communication manager configuration, we will need the latest backup of your communication manager. The only tool required for this upgrade and restoration of the CM configs is a web browser. I have logged on to the Active Communication Manager, which at the moment is the standby CM via a web browser by typing the IP address of my CM on the address bar. Next, I'm going to navigate to Administration and click on Server Maintenance. Then I'm going to navigate to Server and click on Software Version. I'm going to make note of the current software version and compare it once we're done installing our update. Next, I'm going to upload my Feature Pack 3 Service Pack 4 update file by navigating to Miscellaneous and clicking on Download Files. I'm not sure why Avaya calls this area Downloads because we're not downloading anything. As a matter of fact, we are going to use this option to upload our file to CM. Click on the first option, then click on Browse. Navigate to where your file is stored and click on your file and then click Open. Then click on download and our file has been uploaded successfully. Next, navigate to server upgrades and click on pre-update upgrade step. When you are upgrading your primary active CM, you want to perform this step in order to lock the translations. Since this is the standby CM and there have been no changes to the translation, I should expect to see an error when I click on continue. As you can see, I got a deny error because the standby is already refreshed for update or upgrade. Next, I'm going to interchange the servers by going to server and clicking on interchange servers. I'm going to click on force interchange regardless of server status, and then click on interchange and make the primary CM the active CM. I'm getting a message stating that this will cost a full CM reload on the new active. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to click on yes. Interchange has been confirmed. Next, I'm going to click on status summary. And as you can see, my standby CM is now on standby mode. My primary CM is now active. Next, I'm going to busy out the standby server by navigating to server and clicking on busy out release server. Then I'm going to click on busy out and my standby server is now in the busy out state. Next, I'm going to navigate to server upgrades and click on manage updates. Under manage update, you should see the file we uploaded. Click on the radio button and then click on unpack. Once once it's successfully unpacked, click on continue. Now that our file has been unpacked, we are going to activate it. Click on the radio button and then click on activate. On the next screen, you will get a warning notifying you that this update might cause a restart. It also displays the current version of the CM in the server mode as being busy out. Since our server has been busy out, we can go ahead and click on yes to continue. Our feature and service pack was successfully activated and I'm going to click on continue. I'm now back on the manage update screen and as you can see the feature pack is now activated which means it has been installed. Next I'm going to navigate to server and click on software version and as you can see feature pack 3 service pack 4 has now been installed. Next as a personal preference I always like to restart my servers after upgrading them. I'm going to navigate to server then I'm going to click on shutdown server. I'm going to make sure that restart server after shutdown is checkmarked and then I'm going to click on shutdown. Are you sure you want to shut down the server? I'm going to click on OK. CM has finished rebooting and I have logged on to our communication manager. I'm going to navigate to administration and click on server maintenance. Then I'm going to navigate to server and click on busy out release server and I'm going to release my communication manager. Our communication manager has successfully been released. Next I'm going to click on status summary and as you can see our communication manager is still syncing with our primary server because standby shattering is still off. I'm going to click on refresh. Our communication managers are now successfully communicating with one another. Our standby shattering is on and our duplication link is up. Next we're going to restore our communication manager configs from back I'm going to log off the standby CM and make sure I'm logged into the primary active communication manager server. I have logged into the primary communication manager. I'm going to navigate to administration and click on server maintenance. Then I'm going to navigate to data backup and restore and click on view and restore data. Under the view restore data, you specify where you have stored your backup file. I have not transferred the backup file yet. So I'm going to open my WinSCP application and transfer my backup file via WinSCP. I transfer the backup file via WinSCP and I saved it in the root temp directory. Next, I'm going to click on view. CM has found the backup file and I'm going to click on the radio button. Then I'm going to check mark force restore 
Office server name mismatch or server migration, and then I'm going to click on Restore. CM has successfully restored the configuration. I'm going to click on Restore History to ensure there are no errors. I'm going to click on the Restore file, then I'm going to click on Check Status. I have looked at the logs and I don't see any errors that stand out. After you're done restoring the configuration from backup, make sure to restart your CM for the changes to take effect. I'm going to navigate to server and then click on shutdown server. I'm going to make sure that restart server after shutdown is checkmark and then I'm going to click on shutdown. Then I'm going to click on OK. CM has finished rebooting and I'm at the logon screen. I'm going to use my CM6 login credentials. This will be the first test of making sure the config restoration was successful. I'm going to click on log on and I am logged in it looks like our config restoration was successful I'm going to click on continue then I'm going to navigate to administration and click on server maintenance next I'm going to scroll down and navigate to security and click on login reports and here I'm going to display all of my logins and make sure that all of my user logins were restored successfully all of my users were successfully restored next navigate to administration then click on licensing then click on feature administration next make sure current settings is chosen Chosen, and then click display. Under feature administration, do a stare and compare between your old CM and your new CM. When I restore the configs on my production CM, there were a few minor issues that were reported because some of the features were not turned on and it took me a little bit to figure out. But once I turned them on, everything started working as before. This completes our tutorial. Today we install feature pack 3 and service pack 4. Then we restore our CM configuration from backup. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click subscribe and stay tuned for new videos.